once again and uh, we're talking about um, this uh, we're talking about uh, when we came from the break we were talking about this um, thing by Samsung this uh, new uh, development app challenge that Samsung and Intel have gotten together and decided that they are going to do now as we were saying new operating systems are not easy to um, to garner development interest for. I'm not going to say it's not easy to develop for because if it's an open platform, it might be easy to develop for. But remember, developers are seeking money. When they create apps, it's for the purpose of selling apps so that they can make money. So when you come up with a new operating system like Samsung is trying to do, it doesn't mean it's going to fail. But when you have major companies like BlackBerry, like Microsoft, who has had their own operating systems, and still they have had trouble trying to get um, developers to make apps for their system. Now, they have well, um, over 100,000, probably close to 200,000 apps both in their app stores, but nowhere near what um, Android has or um, Apple has. And Microsoft certainly has the money of those, uh, those those two companies to be able to lure developers in but it's just developers are going to go where the most people are so um firefox ubuntu all of those um operating systems have had trouble now that's where the app challenge comes in developers have until november 1st to submit their apps uh the judging will take place between november 4th and november 25th and winners will be announced in december now with games uh, according to the report, with games um, being a popular category, it's no surprise that the top game will get $200,000 grand prize, uh, with the best non-game app winning $120,000. In addition, uh, the top 10 HTML5 based apps um, will get $50,000 each. In total, there are $4.04 million in prizes that will be awarded to 50 developers in nine different categories. Now, after a coming out party of sorts uh, at the Mobile World Congress, Congress, Tizen, that's the operating system for Samsung, Tizen, and its supporters have been working to drum up interest in the operating system. The Tizen Foundation hosted a developer conference in San Francisco in May, and a handful of carriers have committed to selling Tizen phones, including Japan's NTT, uh, uh, um, uh, Docomo and uh, Sprint Nextel is a part of that group that supports Tizen, but has yet to talk about the phones and things like that. The first phones were supposed to debut as early as this month, but have been pushed back to the fourth quarter due to issues with the app store, meaning issues that they didn't have enough apps uh, probably developed for it. So this is re the reason why the um, challenge is going on they can get a lot of apps and you could bet that samsung is probably even the apps that come in see here's the thing even if the people don't win the money i'm thinking samsung samsung is going to take all the apps that it gets because opening this thing up they're bound to to um garner interest in um people trying to develop for tizen because um the be able to win two hundred thousand dollars and fifty thousand dollars is a minimum prize be able to win stuff like that of course, people are going to rush and try and develop apps for you. So I'm thinking that Samsung is going to take all of these apps that they get and somehow <coughs> they're going to work these apps into their app store. I think they're going to work with developers, even that didn't win prizes, work with those developers to get them to release their apps for their app store so that they can release these phones. They're saying fourth quarter. Um, I'm thinking that if they do come out fourth quarter, it's going to be like in December, like last of fourth quarter. I don't think you're going to see them uh, in the beginning of fourth quarter because, you know, they have to get their apps in the app store and stuff like that. But definitely, um, like I always say, competition is good. And so if Samsung can definitely get this, um, this prize underway, I mean, this is definitely something that I can see a lot of people... Um, a lot of people, um, how do you put it, a lot of developers um, being interested in because uh, getting that kind of money for an app, like one app, getting that kind of money is, is rare. You know, you're going to get that kind of money right away. It's rare. So for those of you out there that love to develop apps, you know how to develop apps, you're someone that can um, uh, develop apps, or maybe maybe you're new to the app development process, but you want to you put your hand 
in tithing. You know, you want to put your hand in tithing and try to see what you can do. This is a good way to break into the app development world and where, where it's not so crowded. Now, a lot of people, most people want to go where the money is when it comes to app development. They, people want to go where the money is, where the people are, because in the end, that's how you're going to make money. You're not going to make money if you're in a system where nobody exists. So, if you're, if you're a store, you know, you want to go to a popular mall. You know, you don't want to go to a mall where there's two people walking around all day because no one is going to come into your store. You want to go into a mall where there's a lot of people and that's why most people will develop apps for Android and for iOS. And that's why companies like Microsoft, companies like Firefox, companies like BlackBerry have had trouble in the past garnering developers to develop apps for their system because they don't have the install base um, of a Google and of an, an iOS. But this Cash Prize Award definitely will go a long way, I feel, in getting people to develop app, apps for Tizen. So we have to wait uh, until the fourth quarter and see how successful this, um, because that's when the, um, um, the, um, that's when the uh, winners will be announced. So we just have to wait until then to see how much or how well uh, Samsung's um, Samsung's um, how do we put it? contest app building contest work. Now, for those of you uh, speaking of uh, uh, things working, um, those of you that uh, want to do a little music on your uh, iPad or or something like that, you know, you want to be able to create some music using your iPad, but you know, maybe you don't, you know, you can't afford a big system. You can't afford, you know, a huge. Uh, keyboard. Well, the Mislu, uh, Mislu launches the C24 wireless music keyboard for iPad. And uh, some people have gone hands-on with this thing, but according to a report by Engadget, uh, the last time um, they covered Mislu uh, was during the Google I.O. conference of 2012. And uh, when they took a, a second look at the Android-powered synthesizer, uh, uh, in 2012, they were very impressed. Now, if you fast forward a year to uh, this year, the company shifted its focus on a completely new product, the Mizlu C24 wireless music keyboard for iPad, which is launching uh, this week for $99 on Kickstarter. The device is a high-quality two-octave, that's 24 keys, Two octave uh, collapsible music keyboard designed to be a magnetic uh, designed to be a magnetic cover uh, when uh, stowed away or when uh, you know when when not being used. Um, it features Bluetooth 4.0, low energy micro USB connectivity, a sealed lithium ion battery which provides five to six hours of operation. As such, it's compatible with any core uh, MIDI iOS app the um, um, MIDI iOS app and any um, OS X, uh, Windows or Linux software that supports MIDI over USB. The C24 integrates a capacitive ribbon divided into two areas, eight buttons with four LEDs on each of the left, each on the left, um, octave selection by default, and a linear controller on the right with 32 LEDs pitch blend uh, by default. Now, uh, the Mizlu plans to ship the product with a companion iOS app in time for the holiday season. Um, uh, the prototype uh, that they released has gotten um, good reviews, but, uh, you know, it, they, they are looking for your help over there on Kickstarter. So if, if this is something that uh, appeals to you, if this is something that you look at and you say, you know, I, I want something like that. You head on over to Kickstarter and we'll, we'll show you a picture of this thing. You head on over to Kickstarter and hey, head on over to Kickstarter and pledge to bring this thing to reality. This keyboard, uh, it fits the iPad rather perfectly. And according to the people, they say the use of the anti-polarity uh, magnets creates a semi-weighted feel of the keyboard. By using the magnets instead of traditional springs, reliability and longevity are extended. Each key press is uh, sensed by an infrared emitter detector pairing, uh, paired provide, providing real-time analog position data. Optical key tracking technology delivers MIDI velocity, uh, monophonic aftertouch, as well as detailed performance and capabilities. 
Now they're looking to raise enough uh, pledges on Kickstarter for this thing um, so that this thing can become a concept uh, ready to release in the holiday season. So go ahead and visit Kickstarter and look up C24 Music Keyboard. Let me go ahead and just show you uh, a picture of this thing. Look at this thing and uh, definitely, man, if, if, if this is something that you're interested in, you want to be able to create music with your iPad, but you don't want to hook it up uh, necessarily to a bulky, uh, big keyboard, something like that. You just want to have something on the go, then definitely this is what you need. The C24 uh, Meislu wireless keyboard. And here's a picture of it right here for those of you that are saying, man, what is this thing? There it is. This is the keyboard right here. Just a two octave keyboard. And it, it pairs with the iOS app that's running right here. And you know, you can create your own music. You Ooh. can create uh, different sound effects and different things like that. You know, all those things you can create with that uh, if that's something that you're interested in. They're trying to bring this thing over to Kickstarter. $99 pledges. Head on over to Kickstarter and type in C24 Meislu Wireless Keyboard, iOS Keyboard, and make a pledge to help to bring this thing from concept to reality. Now, coming up after the break, because obviously, you know, uh, uh, you know, Tech Pulse now it's time to take a break. We're going to talk about the um, Evernote Mac update that adds documents and previews. Now, many of you use Evernote for, to, to store notes to yourself. Our uh, very own uh, tech crew in the background there, they use Evernote you know, to write messages to themselves. So we're going to get their input on that. And also, HTC One is now available for only $50 on Amazon. What's going on there? And Google rolls out voice support in Google Hangouts. All of this and more coming up right after the break here on Tech Pulse. So stay tuned. Really? Stay tuned. <laughs> 